I got news for you. Insulin resistance is not a lifelong sentence. If you're dealing with insulin resistance, type two diabetes, this video is gonna be so important for you because I'm gonna reveal five strategies to reverse insulin resistance for good. Let's do this. Hey Keto Camper, Ben Azadi here, best-selling author of three books, founder of Keto Camp. Here at Keto Camp, we're on a mission to educate and to inspire 1 billion people on planet Earth. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Consider hitting the subscribe button and let's get on with this video. So what exactly is insulin resistance? We know that when we eat food, we convert that food into strings of sugar called glycogen. Now these are stored in our skeletal muscle and liver cells. Carbohydrates spike the most amount of glucose in the blood, giving you this response more than protein and fat. So when we have glucose in the bloodstream that's elevated, well, the body has a very tightly controlled mechanism for glucose. It only wants one to two teaspoons of glucose in the bloodstream at a time. Anything else that's more than that is considered a toxic state. So what happens is you get this high glucose response and the body says, yo, beta cells in the pancreas, let's get the insulin troops, take the glucose, the elevated glucose out of the bloodstream and start shuttling it to your cells. When this happens intermittently, not a big deal. Your body can handle it. But when this happens too frequently and for too long periods of time, all of a sudden the receptor sites on your cells for insulin become blunted. It's kind of like you screaming at me right now, but if I had my fingers in my ears, I can't hear you, you can't hear me, there's going to be dysfunction. This is what's happening with insulin resistance. So what we want to do is dial down the glucose. And in this video, I'm going to give you some scientifically proven ways to burn body fat, but also to reverse the insulin resistance. You're going to learn about some specific foods that really inflame those receptor sites. I'm also going to share my top five favorite foods for healing insulin resistance the role fasting plays with insulin resistance, and also the role of heavy metals. So let's get right into these five ways to reverse your insulin resistance. Some interesting research on PubMed and Science Hub has shown that Western diets consisting of high levels of omega-6 fatty acids, these bad unstable fats, contribute to the development of metabolic syndrome. Insulin resistance is part of that. We also know that a deficiency in omega-3 is linked to insulin resistance. This study on PubMed showed that intake of farm salmon that were fed soybean oil actually increased insulin resistance in mice. Yikes. We also know if you're taking a fish oil supplementation that 83% of fish oil is rancid on the shelf before you consume it. So yes, fish oil is considered one of those bad fats. So here are the oils I want you to remove starting today so you can get on this journey of healing your insulin resistance. Avoid the canola, soybean, corn oil, cottonseed oil, rice bran oil, peanut oil, safflower oil, sunflower oil, and fish oil. These are creating inflammation around your cells and those insulin receptor sites preventing insulin from doing its job. That's step one. Let's move on to tip number two. Here are the five best foods for reversing insulin resistance. A very interesting study on PubMed showed diets high in MUFAS, which is monounsaturated fatty acids, may lead to improvements in insulin resistance. Olive oil specifically in these studies showed tremendous health benefits, including anti-diabetic effects and improving insulin sensitivity. Another interesting study on PubMed showed that ghee improved serum lipid levels, which is your cholesterol panel. It also helped with lipid peroxidation, so inflammation in your body, and an improvement in metabolic syndrome. So my top five foods for you to actually consume to heal insulin resistance is going to be number one, olive oil. Now, not all olive oil is created equal. Make sure it's not cut with another bad fat. Make sure it's extra virgin, high quality olive oil. I personally use fresh pressed olive oil from the Fresh Press Olive Oil Club. You can get a $39 bottle of their olive oil for one buck by going to ketocampoliveoil.com. I'll drop a link down below. Secondly, wild caught salmon. That is great for healing insulin resistance. Eggs with the yolk has been proven to reverse insulin resistance. Avocados are terrific. By the way, avocados are loaded with potassium, two times the potassium than a banana. It also has phytosterols, which helps with inflammation, and vitamin B5, which helps with your adrenal glands and stress. And then number five is grass-fed ghee. 
Number three is intermittent fasting. This is one of my favorite ways to really heal some metabolic damage. Some really interesting research on Science Direct had shown that after five weeks of early time-restricted feeding, it resulted in improved insulin levels and sensitivity, improved blood pressure, and oxidative stress just after five weeks of time-restricted eating. I'm gonna share my favorite fasting schedule with you shortly. Another study on PubMed did a systematic review to study the effects of intermittent fasting, and it found a decrease in body mass index, a decrease in fasting glucose, so important for healing insulin resistance, and a better improved score in HOMA IR, which is a very accurate insulin resistance test. So my favorite intermittent fasting schedule for you to get started on this healing journey to heal insulin resistance is an 18-6 schedule. 18 hours out of a 24-hour period, you are only having water and some sea salt, you're not doing anything to spike your glucose, you're in a fasted state. During a six hour eating window, you have two ideally low insulin, keto friendly meals to help your body keep insulin low and repair that damage. Now that is an 18 six schedule. I do recommend throwing in a weekly 24 hour fast where you just go dinner to dinner or lunch to lunch. The cool thing about a 24 hour water only fast Studies show from MIT that it helped in strengthen intestinal stem cells. Before I get into the next two tips, if you're getting any value from this video so far, please hit the thumbs up button on this video. And if you're not subscribed to the Keto Camp YouTube channel as of yet, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button with that little bell so you're notified when we go live. And I have a quick question for you. Do you currently practice intermittent fasting? Question of the day. If you do, what is your current intermittent fasting schedule? Let me know in the comment section down below. Some really cool, interesting research has come out on the benefits of an extended water fast. I call it block fasting. It means just fasting for three or more days. This study on Science Hub showed positive effects after water fasting, which included reduced oxidative stress, less inflammation, that is so key. It improved with weight and blood pressure. There was also a unique study on PubMed that's called Butchinger Fasting Protocol. And keep in mind, this study was under medical supervision, the participants, but it showed between four and 21 days of fasting, an improvement in weight loss, reduced abdominal circumference, yay, belly fat gone, an improvement in glucose, and an increase in ketones. So this is a powerful way to really heal the body. I do recommend you know what you're doing. It's also important to break a block fast, a three or day longer fast the right way. If you wanna learn more about how to break a block fast and some of the benefits of a block fast, hit the video right there, the little card, and you can watch that after this video. I have a complete protocol. Number five, this is probably gonna be the most shocking one to you, and I would estimate that at least 33% of insulin resistance and type two diabetes is a direct link to heavy metals. There was a very interesting study on Science Hub. This was a systematic review and it associated, not causation, but it showed an association between mercury exposure and obesity, diabetes, insulin resistance, and metabolic syndrome. Here's why. Heavy metals like silver amalgam fillings, for example, if you have silver amalgam fillings, I don't know if you knew this, but 55% of every silver amalgam filling contains the supertoxin mercury. And that mercury is stored in that tooth as organic mercury, but the mouth, it's very acidic, especially when you drink a hot beverage and you're chewing. What happens is that mercury vaporizes, it crosses the blood-brain barrier, and it gets stored in the hypothalamus pituitary of the brain. This is an upstream cause creating inflammation in the body, because guess what? The hypothalamus pituitary controls everything in your body. It controls your pancreas, it controls your adrenal glands, it controls your fat burning hormones, but also mercury has an affinity for the thyroid gland. So this is a very important thing to notate. There was also another study on PubMed that showed heavy metal exposure was linked to metabolic syndrome. You could check these studies out down below. And it's not only mercury that's the problem. We have lead, we have copper, we have arsenic, these are heavy metals that just create inflammation around your cell receptor sites and insulin just can't do the job as efficiently. So it's important to explore this as one of the reasons why you might be having insulin resistance. Check out all the studies down below. I do have a free toxicity quiz if you want to determine your level of toxicity, whether it's low, moderate, or high, to see if this might be the case for why you have insulin resistance. You can take that free quiz by going to www.toxicmiami.com. 
If you want to take this conversation a little further and understand how ketosis and a well-formulated ketogenic diet can help you heal insulin resistance and reverse your type 2 diabetes, I encourage you to watch my 10-part series on keto, which you can find by sticker tapping the screen right there. If you got any value from this conversation and this video, hit the thumbs up button and make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next video.